asked about a thousand times how I make my frames from logs and driftwood. So I'm going to show you real quick my uh, table saw technique. So you got to gear up properly. Now the first thing I'm going to do is trim off any of the parts of the log that are sticking out that are going to interfere with my quick flow. is we're going to set our guide here so that it is somewhere in about the middle middle zone of the width of this log. We're going to trim off any areas that are sticking out past that. Smell this koa, it's got a toasted nutty smell. The native Hawaiian wood, the Keisha family. It smells gorgeous. Um, anyway, it's pretty much a, a, a square profile there. So, what I'm going to do is measure the midpoint and I'm going to cut it right in half. Alright, so we've got that fresh cool log split in two. You can see some of the beautiful figuring in here. I'll trim that down so I've got some actual rectangular boards. I also want to make extra sure that I've got straight lines on here. So I'm going to be just making some shallow passes, trimming up little bits on the sides. So as you see, I've cut it down to a couple of nice planks here. So depending on what your project is, you might want to stop here. Uh, as for me, I'm going to uh, pull out my old 1940s jointer and I'm going to clean up the edges of this. I don't want to waste any of this valuable wood and I'll be working into making it into a picture frame molding. So there you can see how I've taken sort of a twisty log and turn it into a couple of planks that I can work with. 